Why are you bringing up such painful memory? I'm <laughs> still, I've just, last year, finally, you know, recovered shaking. This was a street fight. People were scared of this movie, just like they were scared of Batman. Tim is really, I gotta be honest, I think one of the only people who could really do it justice because he understands it. He's lived it. Man, he would have knocked it out of the park. Tim was really gearing up for that and was really excited about it. So, you know, from that perspective, it was a big disappointment because I think he would have really stretched in a way that um, he hadn't yet. And, and maybe hasn't, since I don't know, he hasn't really made that movie. Tim Burton's Superman would have been something quite unique. And, and, and probably something we'd still be talking about. I always felt it was a missed opportunity, you know, because I think it would have been a really interesting movie with, with the way that Tim's take on it and with Nick playing Superman. I think it would have been awesome at that point in time. Tim was not a comics geek. It is more of a, um, a let's take this apart, look at the fundamental roots of it, and let's build it back up. I was always so excited by that footage. It's priceless. It's fantastic. Yeah. I, I was referring to this footage as the Holy Grail. It is like the Holy Grail. For anybody who thinks I'm insulting their Superman, I'll tell you something. He doesn't belong to you. I always looked at Superman and said, can we get the diapers off of him a little bit? If it's what you do for a living and you're excited about it yourself, you, the, the audience better be excited about it, right? They just wanted us to go crazy. They just said, just draw monsters. Now when you think about it, if somebody was like, would you like to see a Nick Cage Superman movie? I'd be like, F and yes, take all my money, because I want to see what that looks like.